Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm JML55 here, and welcome to Let's Replay Super Mario Galaxy for the Nintendo Wii. Yes, I said Let's Replay, because you thought I was gonna say, Welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Wrong. I did this game in the past. Three years ago, to be exact. I don't know why I was trying to remember. I was it two or three years ago for some odd reason, but it was three years ago, and... I thought it was best to replay this game because at the time I didn't have a capture card, so yeah. I thought, hey, it's been three years since I've done it, why not replay it on the channel? Plus, it'll be better quality at least. So yeah, without further ado, let's -a go. And there's the original file from from not too long or from a while ago, I should say. This is the original file if you check it out. But we're gonna be starting a new file, obviously. Yes, let's create a new save planet. And just like what we did in Neo Mario Galaxy, which I'll leave a link in the description to that Let's Play, maybe? I don't know if I forget or not. But, yeah. We're gonna be bringing back J-Man Land. Actually, I might not put a link to that Let's Play. You could check it out in the playlist. Alright, but without further ado, let's -a go back to Super Mario Galaxy. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the common. Dear Mario, I've been waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you from Peach. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Cake or what? Mario's happy, and we're finally getting into the gameplay of this game. <sighs> Just had to bounce on the toad head. I'm not really gonna do get to much of the talking for this game, but yeah. That's it. You are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. <laughs> the festival is over. They're all frozen. Can't do anything about it. Wait, was that one in the T-pose? Yeah, it looks like he is. I guess. I guess so is that one. I didn't know they were all in T-pose, really.
so long to enjoy your fight. Mario, you could have easily avoided that. I don't get it. Why, do you, why are you so stupid sometimes? You could have easily avoided that. People nowadays tell me about it. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Alright, so now we're finally getting back to the gameplay, and... I should say something to this before I get back to what I was going to say originally. I am going to be streaming Super Luigi Galaxy over on Twitch. Okay, hold on. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, I'll tell you, we'll tell you about where you are. Okay. But I will be streaming Super Luigi Galaxy over on Twitch after I'm done with the main game. Mario Galaxy. Because, like, once I get Mario Galaxy out of the way, I'll do Luigi Galaxy. Get over here, bud. Run. This guy's run out of air. You caught me. Oh, I knew I should have hidden the crater. Thanks for giving it away. But yeah, just this game in general is just my favorite Mario game. Like, I prefer it over the second one to me. I know some people will disagree with me, but I just like it better. I have more of a nostalgia with this game more than the second one. I mean, I'm not trying to say the second one's bad or anything. Can't believe that happened. Alright, gotta chase the bunny. Because there are some differences with Super Mario Galaxy and Super Luigi Galaxy, if nobody ever knew that. I won't lie for a while, I never noticed much. Because Luigi's faster, he it's harder for him to gain speed, and he's a lot slippery. And Luigi's like, well I'm not going to spoil, but you'll see soon. I'll tell you later. Once we get to the game. Where's the other warp pipe at? For the one that connects to it. Cause he's there. Oh, that didn't mean to go in. Oh, it didn't trigger. Oh! I didn't know that would trigger him. I thought it would be at that pipe exactly. Okay, that was weird. Come on, bud. Sometimes with this part it just screws me up. Oh my god. Gotcha. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you really can help, Mama. You can just easily short take a shortcut right here, like, no big deal. Or no biggie, I should say. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. Sorry, for some reason something loaded on my computer. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. <laughs> Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. But we're gonna die so many times, probably. You have the ability to spin now, shake with the Wii Remote. Disaster has struck us as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the stars shine down on you. This was the first game, if anyone remembers, that Rosa... Bleh. Rosa... Rosalina. Oh my god, why can't I speak? That Rosalina was introduced in, and then she's just been a staple in the Mario series. Jake with a rare mark has been that, that it's stuff that looks breakable. Alright, 
we got the spin mechanic, which is a big thing of this part of this game. No star cards. That's a coin. That's what I was looking for. Oh, you can't break them. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news, though. See, I had a launch star all ready for you, but, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. Dude, I'm Mario. I've been so on so many adventures. I, I think I know what to do by now. This way, screw up my triple jump. It did. Yeah, with the spin jump, though, it's not that it's broken or anything. It's really not that bad for, for use with shaking the Wii Remote. At least to me, it's not that bad. There should be an oddball somewhere. Get me out of here. One of those enemies should have the key. Shake with the Wii Remote to spin around them. Oh, yeah, you have to talk to them first. And then, they, then they appear. It's this one. Of course, the one that didn't get messed up with the space physics. Oh, I thought I didn't plan, but okay. Thanks. Would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there, too? I'll transform into a sling star that just jump into me after I transform! <laughs> Yeah, but if you jump on a Goomba, like, normally, it just... Well, we give you coins. But you can't jump on the big Goombas, I don't think. But let's just go... Our buddy, I should say. Hurry, down here! We've been waiting for you. That's that's a grand star. We have to save it. They're using the grand star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. We have to do something before the grand star grand star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. Right, there's some switches somewhere. Oh. Well, I guess I started to find them already. I remember they're scattered all over the place. Alright, that should be. That was not intended. I think that's it after this. Because there's not a whole lot. Oh my god, I already know that by now. Our first grand star. You got a grand star. All right, now we're flying all over in the in this place. Some parts are back. And at least the observatory is running. That's a good thing, for sure. Grand Star Rescue. The beacon is, is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a as a class six star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. 
We, you see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every hundred years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched on to our ship, pulling away star bits and the power source, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hi hib hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses power stars, power stars to project images of the galaxies. They are scattered across space and there is a chance we can use a few remaining stars to look for our other power stars. This, these round rooms are called domes. We absorb galaxies from domes such as these, but the only one that is working now, powered by, by the power star you restored it, is the one called the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If you need that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory ability to fly like a star soap. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off of the Power Stars. Of course I'm gonna save my game. Okay, so now we open up the Terrace, which we're gonna be doing in the next episode of Super Mario Galaxy. And there's a launch star that's not working. And, well, here's the garage. There's nothing in it yet. And, yeah. Next episode of Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to be going into the terrace and seeing what's going on in there. So, yeah. We'll see you all. Bye-bye. Can't believe I spun my Wii remote.